And then after that, the biggest thing for me right now, it don't need to have roaches. Hey y'all, I am back with another video, girl. And if you read the title of this video, you already know we get into. So let's just go ahead and hop straight into it. So today I am touring apartments. I'm excited because I think I got some really good apartments this time, but I'm also nervous because I don't know what it entails and I'm kind of tired of looking at apartments, but I'm currently at the first apartment. Um, the tour is not until 9.30. 30 i think it's like 9 20 ish so i have a couple of minutes before i had to go in um i got my tripod y'all because listen i had to buy a new a new thing for the tripod because it broke and i was leaving out the house and it just like fell and it broke now i don't think i'm gonna be using this thing forever because it kind of got a pistol looking group on it i'll be hiring this and people be like what the fuck she got going on so yeah anyway 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 besides the point I want to go over y'all. I want to go over my wants and uh, like needs with y'all for an apartment as well as the community where it's located. So I've been in Houston for three years now. And what I can say, I like living on the west side of town. I can't speak for everybody else, but I like living on the west side of town, like near like West Chase, like in the West Chase district, like near Westheimer, because there is a lot on Westheimer in that area. So i am still a city girl i am not starting a family right now so i need to live in a centralized populated area for convenience purposes okay i don't care what nobody tell y'all if i want to go up the streets to the target the target need to be up the street so i can go to it if it's too far away i'm not going like right now i live like 15 minutes away from the target that's just too much for me 15 minutes is too much because it still be traffic where i live at and it's heavy traffic so no can't do it now it needs to be a gated community because there is crime everywhere you go in Houston, but bitch, they be breaking in cars. They never gave a fuck. And I need my little, I need my little big, big white. I need big Bertha for as long as possible. But I don't need you stealing my car. Um, it also has to be a quiet community that is clean and well kept overall. I don't want it to be like the front of the apartment is nice as fuck, but then you get to the back and it look ratchet and dirty and hood. No can't have it it needs to be nice all the way around because i'll be walking finney through the neighborhood she loves outdoors and it also cannot have any fleas because my current apartment complex that i'm leaving is infested with fleas in the grass so i was not feeling that and my dog got infested with fleas and it was a vet bill and that was not cool um a nice a nice pool and a nice gym that's the biggest thing now as i'm at this apartment i did see a couple leaving out i asked them if they live here they said they do i asked her did she like it she said she loves it it's very quiet she said they have on site maintenance staff so they come pretty quickly whenever need be on top of that i think somebody's gonna come get in the car i seen somebody and now i don't know where they went I don't know where they went but anyway she said that they come fix stuff quickly she said sometimes the gate is broken she said but it's never broken for long because the on-site ma uh, maintenance will come fix it asap um she said the gym is 24 hours and it's just a really quiet area really nice really cool nothing really goes on for real she said that also with the main or not the maintenance staff the office staff they do events every single month so i like that as well and then she also said they do activities too for like the the the, the uh, residents so that's pretty cool now with that being said let's get into the list of what i expect from a houston apartment thus far everybody knows that the prices are high so if you're gonna pay the price you might as well get something nice with that being said houston is also not rent controlled if you don't know what that means that basically means that um 
their prices are not at a set price it is based on the day the hour like it's kind of like the stock market when it comes to buying stocks and all that it just goes up and down and fluctuates you just have to catch it at a good time now with that being said i expect 700 square feet stainless steel updated appliances black is fine as well but i'm not paying 1300 for a white refrigerator bitch absolutely not um a large kitchen with cabinet space i do love to cook so that's a really big thing for me to have all of my cooking supplies in the same area um i'd like a patio area too it's texas let's be for real i'm trying to build some patio furniture and i need somewhere to put the patio furniture i have a big patio now but it's just the area right now for me so that's why i'm not staying a walk-in closet um uh, that's self-explanatory a decent sized living room because i threw my old sectional out but i plan on purchasing a new sectional i am living in an apartment right now and i don't have a couch why do i not have a couch because the way that my living room is shaped it's hard to put um a a couch in there but anyway i need somewhere to put a nice sectional okay um also it needs to be a home before I build a home once I finish with school. Like, I don't want to be nowhere where, like, I, I keep having to move. Y'all, I'm tired of moving. This is my third time moving. I'm tired of doing this. I'm, I'm not even playing. And then after that, the biggest thing for me right now, it don't need to have roaches. I'm not even playing. Roaches is a big thing in Houston. And somewhere I just read that they're ranking number one for like roaches in like a populated area or something. Like, I don't know how it goes, but um, I'll drop the article in the description box below if you want to read it. It don't need to have roaches. Roaches is a big problem in Houston. So I, I don't need to live nowhere where it's roaches. I'm not even fucking playing. But with that being said, I got my purse, girl. And I'm going to go ahead and go into the complex. And I'm going to give y'all a tour. And at the end... I just kind of go over everything that I liked, what I disliked, and I'll rank it myself, like the top four, like in what order, but I'll also let y'all pick in the description box which ones you like, and yeah, so let's go.
Okay, so I had a gap in between my tours because I wanted to tour an apartment that was across the street from the first one. However, I read the reviews and people said the crime rates over there were terrible. So I did not tour that apartment. And with that being said, I went to the second scheduled tour early, apartment tour early. Um, I got here. My tour is supposed to be at 10.30. It's currently 10.20. I've been here since 10 a.m. And um, the front office is actually closed. N nobody has showed up. Um, I don't know. Nobody's here. It says that they're going to be back. But on the thing, it says they're going to be back at 8.30. So it looks like um, somebody's in there. Like their stuff was in there. But... I don't know. Um, I'm I'm gonna try to walk back up there and see, but if I don't get an appointment, then I'm just gonna go to the next place because I don't have time for this. Personally, I'm surprised you call me after the things I said. Start, start all niggas, start up all niggas, start down. You acting like me, acting like we was more than for some more flesh. I said farewell, you took it well. Promise I won't cry. We had less compared to some of my niggas down the block, man. We were blessed. And life can't be no fairy tale, no once upon a time. But I'll be goddamn if a nigga don't be trying. So tell me, mama, please, why you be drinking all the time? Cause all the pain you brought you still linger in your mind. Cause pain still lingers on mine. On the road to riches, listen, this is what you find. The good news is, nigga, you came a long way. Bad news is, nigga, you went the wrong way. The real is better. Life that's better than yours. No such thing as life that's better than yours. Think being broke is better. Life that's better than yours. Okay, y'all. So, the tours are done, girl. I stopped at the library really quick to do some work. And... Before I leave here, we're kind of going to get into 
my notes that I took on the three apartments that I toured today. Now, um, I rank them as well, like I told y'all. And I was trying to make this the last three apartments that I toured, or four technically, but last three apartments that I toured um, before finding an apartment to actually apply for. And now I feel a way about the ones that I've seen today, but I don't know. So for starters, the first one that we seen, it was nice, quiet, it was clean in a very centralized location. All of the apartments I looked at today were in the west side of Houston, like West Chase, Memorial City-ish, Energy Corridor, all over there in that area, so that's good. Um, the kitchen was kind of small. I wasn't really feeling that. And all in all, it just looked outdated. Like, it had the updated appliances and stuff like that, but that's just all it had, you know what I'm saying? It just kind of looked outdated. Um, but it was a good price. Now, the only thing about this one is that because it is a really nice community and a lot of people stay here um the turnover rate is low which is good for the residents that live there but it's not good for me because i need somewhere to stay but if i could find one then i definitely will try to like look into applying i know the lady told me that the only reason why these people are actually moving is because they grew and just needed a larger larger size they're literally moving in into another unit so yeah now the second one we looked at we didn't even get to look at it i waited 45 minutes nobody ever came come to find out the lady found a stray dog i guess in a complex and then she completely left work to take the dog to the vet so there's that but as far as that one i passed by those apartments before because when i first moved to houston they were actually getting built and i don't like the location of them because the apartment complex next to them is a roach infested in part apartment complex and i know that for a fact because i know somebody that lived there and it sits like right next to a school i don't want to be next to no elementary school so it was already out of the question anyway um and it kind of just looked like it don't belong there like it's the it's the tallest building like in that particular area so it just kind of it's nice it's nice looking but it just don't belong right there um and then the third one that we looked at i really like this one very clean ducked off um a little higher in budget for their renovated units which i think it's crazy because all they did was put in a stainless steel farm sink and some granite countertops with some black uh, backsplash and y'all want to charge almost fifteen hundred dollars it's crazy um but their classic unit which is what you've seen in the second video just to see the features is the brown cabinetry you still have stainless steel appliances the faux countertops or whatever it was all right it was cheaper in price but i didn't really like it i ain't gonna lie i didn't i didn't like the the countertops or whatever um and then the last one this is the one that was actually recommended to me they did have a really good price on it in a really nice area very centralized location as well these all of these units were not too far from each other um and i think for their renovated units were a little bit higher but nothing like too too crazy and she even told me that for your fees for the month um, expect to pay like 60 to 80 dollars and that includes your water your uh, pest control your valet trash and something else it includes but i thought that was really good that it's just 60 to 80 dollars for all of that together because i've toured apartments before and it's a hundred something dollars for that but i think that's really good now with that being said my ranking is option number four is is at number one right now Option number three is in second place. Option number one is in third place. Option number two, not even on the map. Not even concerned. But yeah, so that is the end of this video. I hope y'all enjoyed going to look at these apartments today, girl. I want y'all to leave in the comments down below which apartment that you liked. And if you want to, you can rank them in order what you think I should do. Because your girl will be responding. And... With that being said, peace out, y'all.